we are going to attempt to change these wheels with these wheels inside of the play mode. And before we get into coding, what we have in here is a car modifier script. Now, what's interesting about this is that the base car, if we open up the car in here, we're going to see that it has just one of the wheels. And then this wheel gets duplicated in four locations. So what happens in here is that it takes that one wheel and it creates four game objects for that exact wheel. Now what we need in here is to add in a some sort of a filter and to check if it already has wheels attached to this uh, game object. So let's do that. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've made a method that destroys all the game objects the wheel game objects and then I made another method that spawns the wheel objects and here is how it works if we hit the key E it should destroy the wheels and if we hit the key R it should spawn the wheels and there they are now let's make it some kind of a UI to make us select these wheels to spawn okay here is our simple AI that holds these canvases as wheels it's a super simple AI as a placeholder and then it has these wheels each of them and then inside these wheels we have we obviously have a click button now what we need is a some kind of a script that holds these wheel objects so let's do that okay now we have our wheels holder script and what this script is going to require is a public method any kind of public method so for now i'm just going to do a public void swap wheels and before we go any further, we need a start method. And of course, we need a reference to the wheel object that we want to instantiate. Okay, there we have it. It's a wheel object. So in the start method, we need a reference to our current vehicle that is spawned in our scene. To get that, we need a reference to the car modifier. So we'll do public car modifier modifier. There it is. Now we have a reference. And now we need to initialize this reference to the car that is in the scene. And to do that, we're going to say modifier is equal to find object of type car modifier. And then after that, we need to execute methods that are inside this car modifier. And as I've done in here, first, we need to remove the, the current wheels. So for that, I'm going to need another public method. There it is. I've named it delete wheels. And all it's going to do is it's going to delete these wheels. And to instantiate the wheels, we don't need this function in here because we already have a spawn wheels function. So all we have to do in here is hit save and then come back into the wheels holder. And then inside of here, we want to just execute those functions. So we're going to say modifier dot delete wheels and then modifier dot spawn wheels. And then this is where we pass in the, the game object, which is wheel. And here is our code finished. Okay, I went ahead and got some wheels, some wheel prefabs. And then inside of these wheels, I'm just going to pass in that method that I just created. So here it is. It's called, it's obviously called wheels holder. And we're simply going to drag and drop it in here. And then from here, we drop it inside this on click function. And now we obviously have a spawn wheels method. And that's basically all we need to do. And then inside of the wheels holder, we need to pass in this wheel. Remember, this wheel has to be a prefab. So here are our wheels. I'll pass in the first one into the wheel. And now I'll just repeat this function for these three other wheels. I've added all of the three wheels. They all have a wheels holder script. And now let's try to play the game. And here it is working perfectly fine. So we got the stock wheels, of course. And then we have these optional ones that if we click this one, it should appear with this other wheels, although they are a little bit big. And of course, we can do these other wheels, which are way too big for this car. So we're going to leave them with this. And there we have it. We have a option to change these wheels. We can, of course, change the wheels of this other car as well, as we can see. And that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.